Mustang. Actually, uh, checking to see if the battery died in the Fox body because I haven't started it in like three days this time. Let's see. The joys of having children or even baby. Look at all these car seats and strollers in my garage. Okay, so it just confirms the three days is okay, even when it's pretty cold out. It's the weekend. Finally getting some time to uh, put some air in the tires of the Fox and maybe try and go for a drive. Let's check. I have another gauge that I was using and I, I might have just put it down somewhere else. Okay, this one is showing like 20 to 24 maybe PSI. So definitely need to get a little air in these tires. So um, you can see that I have the instruction book out because I'm definitely the type of person who is like terrified of creating an explosion or like whatever. So I always use the instructions until I'm comfortable not using the instructions. So make fun of me, but safety first, whatever. So I have the accessory and hose attached. This is the tire pressure filler thing. And then I'm going to uh, turn the pressure switch lever to on to allow tank pressure to build. Pretty quiet. This is why they call it the quiet series. So I think it goes up to like 135 psi, and that'll and then it'll like basically shut off saying that it's ready. Pretty sure that's what happened last time. Okay, there we go. And you can, I don't know if you can hear on the camera, but there's a little bit of air um, coming out where the attachment is on the hose. I actually used a wrench, I think it was a 916, um, to tighten it last time to, um, but it was like, there was so much air coming out last time that um, it took forever for it to get like the maximum pressure until we finally like tightened it and closed it off. So I'll probably tighten it here a little bit more in a minute. done using the thing you're supposed to uh, drain the rest of the air using the accessory so on this you can just press down with your thumb okay hopefully oh, thank goodness
first time I've driven this car in like at least a week. And I have to say, you know, like, so I'm a member on a, a you know, quite a few Mustang forums. And there's a lot of guys on there that have, um, there's some, like, I always think of Stangnet in particular. Uh, the Fox Body forums on there, like, there's so many uh, active threads, um, you know, like, just all different types of builds and, like, at different stages. And there's some pretty awesome cars, like, you know, cars that obviously have, like, a ton of money and time and effort put into them. And, um, and the guys, some, sometimes the guys that like, you know, own the cars, you know, they'll say stuff like, sometimes they'll, you know, you'll, you'll, every once in a while you'll see a thread that's like, um, uh, I'm kind of bored or I'm thinking about selling my Fox body or, you know, and then people will be like, oh, how come you're going to sell it? And, um, somebody will be like, oh, well, you know, I never have time to drive it. And I, like, I, you know, before I had a kid, I was like, no time to drive. I was like, what? That's crazy. I was like, I, you know, drive my, you know, Fox like a couple times a week when it's put together. And, um, I was like, how can you not drive it? Especially when they're like, you know, super nice and in, um, really good condition. I'm like, no way. Now I am like, oh my God, I never have time to drive my car. I never have time to drive either car unless I like absolutely have to go, you know, buy groceries or diapers or, uh, or whatever, or, you know, take the baby to daycare. And, uh, now I'm like, holy crap, totally get it. I, you know, like, you know, especially if you got you're not retired you still have uh you know work full-time whatever a lot of responsibilities i mean i just have one kid and i'm like i have not had like uh you know more than an hour of like free time to go to the garage in like you know yeah, months and i'm not complaining i uh I, i'm very happy to have a have a son to be a father um it's you know you know the good has outweighed any like downsides of being a dad you know, for the last eight months for sure yeah like the idea that i was going to have any time you know significant amount of time to like you know spend time in the garage working on mustang stuff uh, was a little bit short-sighted. It's, you know, even when, uh, we had, you know, my, like, you know, grandparents, you know, or my, you know, my parents or my wife's parents visiting, like, it, you, there's still, like, stuff to do, like, you know, like, being an adult, obviously, like, you know, taking care of stuff around the house that needs to be fixed or repaired or replaced, you know, running errands, you know, all that stuff. And, um, like, you know, the idea of like having eight out, eight, like an, an eight to 10 hour day in the garage to, you know, just like dick around and do taco potato Mustang stuff is, uh, it's pretty, it seems pretty far out there. I mean, I guess the only way I could do that is if, uh, there's a day where I'm supposed to be working and son is in daycare and my wife is working and I just decided to like take a day off so that I could you know spend the day in the garage and uh you know make some progress on the Fox Mustang so I don't know we'll see if we can do that but I gotta be honest I'm not I'm not super optimistic about the likelihood of that happening uh anytime soon but I don't know we'll see so I'm uh again I'm not complaining I, you know it'd be nice to have some free time but you know I also like when I'm not working 
I like to spend time with my son and my wife and our dog. And it's, uh, you know, it's like, you know, if I don't, you know, time is the one thing you never get back, right? So, like, you know, I want to spend as much time as possible with them when I have the opportunity to. Uh, and as much as I am, like, a car nut, uh, you know, I, obviously my family is, you know, much more important than, uh, you know, working on, uh, you know, a Mustang. So, yeah. Yeah, so for, I, if you've been watching my videos for a while, like, you probably know that there's been a few times where I've, uh, entertained the notion of, um, uh, you know, up upgrading from the Dude's Dang, my 2014 Mustang GT, to something, like, newer, um, or something different, and I've, I, I looked at a few different things, like, I, you know, I looked at a, um, uh, I looked at a WRX STI last year, um, I looked at, uh, the 2021 Mustang GT, uh, 2016 Shelby GT350, um, I'm trying to remember what else I test drove, um, I, you know, I, you know, of course, always looking at cars online, I, uh, I've always been, I've been, in, you know, interested in the new Mach 1 since it came out, you know, basically thinking, oh, you know, I've had the, this car for a while, maybe I will, uh, you know, upgrade to something a little bit more uh, flashy, fancy, faster, whatever you want to call it. But, um, you know, then I, you know, I, I'd say like the one car, like when I drove the 2021 GT, I was like, you know, I could see myself buying this, but I, like, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a tough pill to swallow for like, um, you know, thinking that going from like a car that's paid off, that's, you know, plenty fun and, you know, uh, that I love driving and has a lot of sentiment, sentimental value to a car that's like in the, uh, uh, in the way that I would like it is going to be, you know, close to like $60,000. Um, you know, that's for like, you know, doing like Magna Ride suspension and, uh, um, you know, the performance pack and, like, you know, premium trim and all that kind of stuff. Like, that's not cheap. I mean, it's a great car. And you get a lot, you know, for the money, especially compared to, like, you know, some of the German brands or, you know, BMW in particular, I always think of. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a, it's a it's a bit much to, like, Especially uh, with the horsepower difference being, you know, fairly negligible. You know, obviously, horsepower is not everything, but it it's something, and it matters, right? Like, uh, you know, I have a, you know, about I don't know, 35, 40 horsepower less. So, you know, thinking about paying like, you know, twice what I paid for this car for something that, you know, it's got a lot of cool features and it's you know great performance. Like that's that's a little bit much. So um, obviously I have not done it. And then you know every time I drive that car, I'm like, I, you know, I really still really like this car. I don't, I'm not ready to get rid of it. But I'm always keeping an eye out for uh, for stuff that I might be interested in buying. And uh, like I think it was last weekend I drove a Focus, a Ford Focus RS for the first time. And, you know, I, I, I'm really into, like, you know, the hot hatch, like, turbocharged cars. Um, I've never owned one, but I've driven a few, and I, you know, that type of car, you know, I really like Evos and uh, WRXs and uh, all that. But this is the first time I drove a Focus RS, and uh, I was like, man, okay. It, it was definitely modded, like, it's not a stock RS. At least had, like exhaust, intake, uh, upgraded intercooler, and it was pretty loud, and it was pretty quick, like, it's definitely
definitely you know quite a bit faster, quicker than the STI that I drove uh, last year. I mean, obviously if it's you know not stock, it's not necessarily a fair comparison, but it was impressive. And I was you know, I really like the seats. I really like the shifter. Um, I think that if I had driven that car when it first came out, uh, I might have considered switching from the dude staying to one of those. Uh, and even this time I was like, you know, so far of the cars that I've driven, this one jumped to the top of the list. Um, if I was going to try to buy one and, and my rationale was like, oh, you know, if I were to get something to replace the dude's tank, it would be nice if it has four doors and it's like a little more practical than the dude's tank. As in like more space to put a car seat in the back. And it might be a little bit more fuel efficient, you know, more space to like carry stuff so that we could like, you know, take trips, uh, you know, with the baby and the dog uh, without being completely cramped. And yeah, uh, like with me, you know, being pretty tall and the guy who worked at the dealership, he was definitely taller than average. Um, with the seats pushed all the way back, there was like, no room in the back and it looked like a car seat would have not that much more space than it currently has in the in the dude's tank so I was like ah, yeah, I, I don't know I'm still very interested in owning one of those cars I think it'd be really fun to uh, to own and drive you know, all-wheel drive you know, 350 plus horsepower really great manual like that would be a lot of fun so yeah certainly something I've been thinking about but uh I, I gotta be honest, uh, you know, more recently I've been considering the possibility of like, if I do get something else, that actually it would end up being a replacement for the Fox body, um, rather than for the dude stay. Because the, uh, and my, you know, if you, if you haven't turned the video off and discussed yet, my rationale there is, um, that you know this is my project car and I really don't have time to do much project car stuff being a dad and having a job and other adult responsibilities so like I'm like well you know maybe I could sell this to somebody else who actually has the time to work on it and it could be, you know, a fun project for someone else. I feel like I've done a lot of good things with this car. Um, you know, I've, you know, I've made some improvements. I've fixed some things that were wrong with it. Uh, I've kept it running and, you know, largely in pretty good shape. Uh, obviously, it's still a work in progress. But, you know, it's a car that you can drive regularly if you don't mind leaking oil everywhere. Um, and, you know, that has a lot of potential to be any number of things so that's just something I've thought about I'm not like a hundred percent convinced and I'm not in a rush uh, but you know it's like if I get if I were to get something like a Focus RS or you know an STI or you know, uh, you know anything else that has like four doors and is fun to drive the like it's obviously more likely that I would be driving it uh, and presumably wouldn't have to do uh, a lot of work you know that not that I'm opposed to the idea of like you know modding another car or like you know having another build uh, you know I think that'd be fun to like you know have something else that I'm you know occasionally doing stuff to in the rare instances that I have time to be you know in the garage but I don't know we'll see I am uh, still thinking about it. I'm sure, you know, some of my subscribers will have some thoughts and uh, I'm sure there's people that will tell me that I'm crazy for even considering it. And I totally get it. You know, like, like obviously, you know, I'm actually coming up on, um, uh, through, uh, you know, the beginning of the year will be like three years since I, uh, got this car, which is crazy to me. You know, obviously like with, you know, the COVID-19 pandemic, like, the uh, um, you know time 
things, you know, time doesn't make any sense anymore. Um, but yeah, like the, uh, you know, I, I, a Fox body is something that I always wanted to own and I've owned one, you know, for almost three years now. And, you know, I've been done all the things that I would like to do. Like, you know, I'd love to have been able to get more time at the track, but I'm not even going to try to fool myself into thinking that, uh, that's something that's going to become a, a possibility anytime soon. Uh, yeah, obviously in, unless I win the, uh, Powerball or whatever, but uh, I think, um, yeah, just something I'm considering, you know, I feel like uh, I don't want to get rid of either Mustang, uh, I definitely can't uh, swing buying a fourth car without getting, you know, without selling one of these, and uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's just something I'm, you know, I've been thinking about a lot. You know, I'm always looking online, seeing what's out there. Um, you know, I even considered, you know, looking at some of the new like Cadillac sedans, like the ATS or no, the CT4 V Blackwing. Like those seem really cool. Wouldn't mind driving one of those. But again, it's like uh, probably have to get rid of both Mustangs to get something like that. And you know, those are like. I think at, a, at the cheapest gonna be like 60 grand. So, uh, you know, maybe not realistic at the moment, but uh, you know, one of these days, we'll see. But, you know, there's a lot to think about. A lot of things been on my mind lately. You know, still enjoy, really enjoy, obviously enjoying having uh, both of my Mustangs and having the uh, opportunity, fortunately, to drive them sometimes. Uh, and I hope that I'll get some time to uh, do a little work on the Fox body in the garage before it gets too cold. I don't know. We'll see. We got a lot going on. So yeah, hopefully all of that recorded without uh, too much background noise considering how ridiculously loud it is being in this car. I don't know. We'll see.